What's up, guys? Welcome to another local band, Smokeout. I'm your host, Attire the Most BG. We're doing an interview here with Surrender the Hope, our guest coming out of Buffalo, New York. Of course, I got my co-host, Lloyd Rattle Rattlesky Rattowski, a.k.a. Burn Like Stars Forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gentlemen, how are we doing today, though? Doing real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real good. How Hell are you, yeah. boys? I heard uh, some brand new music just might have dropped today. Wow. Yes, sir. Like an hour ago. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, not that long. Yeah, a little over uh, the, the video. The video dropped an hour ago. The track dropped at midnight. So yeah, I've already impressive. illegally distributed it. So I'm already ahead of everybody. <laughs> thanks, <Yes>. thanks. <laughs> Thank you. If you could, real fast, go around and let us know who you are and, and what you do in the band, real quick. Uh, all right, we'll start down here. I'm Darren, uh, lead vocals. I'm Mikey Toes. I play guitar. I'm Jared. Jared K. I play bass. Do a little vocals. I'm Steve. I play drums. That's it. <laughs> would you, <laughs> Steve, would you ever consider throwing down vocals on, on like, a gang vocal or maybe just randomly Wait, one night? Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, 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 we've, we've done, done some gangs. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, cool. I, we, we always joke about throwing on the Madonna mic, you know, letting me try to figure out how I can work <laughs> that into a song or two, where the headset, where the cones, like, yeah, we've, we've definitely thought about <laughs> trying to do that, but... I, I'm not that coordinated. Gotcha. Maybe we'll get to it down the road. But uh, you guys, are, yeah. you guys are from uh, Buffalo. But is everyone originally from Buffalo, New York, or is, uh, did anybody move there? Buffalo, born and bred. Yeah, yeah Buffalo, born and raised. Yeah, Out, not outskirts, but yeah, Buffalo. Outskirts. Yeah, all in the <laughs> all in the western New York area. Yeah. Nice. Major metropolitan area of Buffalo, New York. Nice. And the, the new song is called 19 20, 20. Can you explain why it's called that and what uh, maybe some of the material about, like, like lyrically is about in that song? Oh, man. Um, yeah. Uh, so 19 20, 20, I guess, is the description of everybody's last year, pretty much. It's kind of like a play I, I on numbers. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like a play on numbers, play on words, everything inside. It basically encapsulates everything that I've heard from everyone that I know that could have and did happen last year. Some of it's still kind of going on this year, too, unfortunately. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Not wrong. I mean, we, we have expected it to go on this long, but I mean, I, I think he was kind of reaching back to parallels, too, with 1920 and then uh, the pandemic 100 years ago, kind of how history repeats itself. Pretty much, yeah. That was what? That was the plague. Plague, yeah. Dang, Lloyd, what Spanish, you get? I think it was or nineteen oh, yeah. twenty twenty one, something like that. Maybe Spanish flu, something. One of those. I'm not yeah, sure which yeah. one it is, but I think it represents too, like how people like felt when it first happened, like kind of like what the fuck is going on. Um, th this song's kind of spazzy and all over the place, so it's just like your mind kind of like fucking with itself, like trying to process everything that's going on a smart i didn't realize that when i was uh when i was jamming the song earlier i didn't realize it was a reference to 1920 also i thought it was just a covid 19 2020 was why it was called 19 2020 but that's smart that there's it's even deeper than that that's cool yeah hell yeah we go deep in Buffalo, not just on the football <laughs> field we go deep in Buffalo bro <laughs> i got i got some for Drac over there you know how how do you go to EGG? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Who'd you say? I said Drac, right? Is he not in the no, band? Anymore? No, he's not in the band oh, anymore. Fuck. He was one. He was one of the original members that were in the band, but he's oh, not in the band. I I read it. I read an old article. Then my apologies. My apologies. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, you're good, man. I read something about he went to EGG for a few semesters and then he ended he skipped class and watched Murray in the student union. So I, I thought that was interesting. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, no one track back then. Yeah, that sounds. Funny. I had to so see explain the member Murray. switches. Who's original and uh, when did uh, like explain the whole band uh, development? Because obviously there's been some changes because there's a lot of old articles with different names. I see. Yeah, we got some history. Yeah, okay, so um, Steve was jamming with a few guys. 
Um, and this is the summer of like 2006, so we were like super young. And um, so long ago. Yeah, dude. yeah, dude. Yay high tights. Yay high tights. It'll <laughs> make sense in a second. I promise. <laughs> um, I was jamming with my buddy Eric Kogut, and I was in a band with him called Burn the Beautiful before. And we kind of were going our separate ways. And um, I suggested that Eric should jam with um, Steve and these guys that would that would ultimately become Surrender the Hope. And um, Eric didn't have time to do it anymore. And he he thought, like, the guys in the band at the time and, and Steve, like, like, just, like, came back to me and told me, like, yo, these guys have potential to, like, do something cool. I think you would fit in with them way better. And I just don't have the time to do it anymore. So, um, yeah, I started jamming with Steve and um, our buddy John Bobowitz and Keith at the time. And we were doing, it was like, it didn't even start off so heavy. It was more, it was like, I would describe it as like, um, almost like a Southern rock type of thing, like a heavier Rage Against the Machine. We were going for like that Southern fried hardcore style. And then um, it just progressively kept getting heavier and, um, we went through a lot of band changes even uh, back then, and then um, yeah, we went we went pretty hard from '06 to '08, and we went on a hiatus for ten years actually. And we reformed in 2018 with like oh, um, the yeah the the original lineup, but um, we've all known each other for like the past 15, 16 years. We've all been in and out, in and out of bands. Even um, Darren and Jared have been in a band with each other. 2006. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. Definitions? Uh, uh, the Fast. Yeah. The Fast. Oh, yeah. my God. Further so, back than that. Like, we've all... Oh, we lost them. We lost you. Uh, more consistent old lineup. And then... Hold up. Time Hold out. Up. We, you we, locked out for a second. Yeah, you guys froze for like 10, 15 seconds. So we did not hear anything after uh, after you said definitions, and then I and then oh. I did not hear anything after that. Uh, oh, so okay. yeah, we were in a band called The Theft together, pretty much at that point. <laughs> yeah, that was been long ago too. Well, I played in a band called Definitions, and then Darren and I had a bunch of other bands in that in that span of time. Um, but yeah, so these guys, um, original lineup of Surrender the Hope reunited. What 2018? 2018, 2018 yeah. Hell yeah. And then uh, Drek, he was the original bass player. Um, he had another kid on the way and, you know, some personal stuff going on. So he he left the band and um, we it was just me and Steve again. Well, and, for, for a little while, we only talked about playing the one show to celebrate, like, our one release that was coming up on 10 years or whatever it was. Yeah, it was it was just, uh, like, yeah, like a 10-year anniversary show, and it was going to be a one-off, but then... Um, we decided, like, yo, if we're gonna if we're gonna go through all the trouble to do this, like, why not keep it going and like start start writing some more music? Cool. Yeah. Good answer. So then then uh, Jared comes in, fills in the bass spot, and then everything kind of just slides into place and works out. Pretty much. Yeah, the chemistry is really good. To, like, no, just knowing each other all for so long, it definitely made it so much easier to play music together. Like, um. We all we all collectively like listen to so much fucking music, so we can we can vibe with so many different types and kinds of music. I, I was gonna ask that. What what do you guys jam on your on the side that's not metal? Like give me oh. some, give me some non metal that you jam. <laughs> oh, I could go off. Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> be here for a minute. Yeah. Um, uh, I've been digging Eve Tumor, a uh, little bit of Orville Peck. I love Lana Del Rey. Um, my wife's favorite artist, Lana Del Rey. Yes. So she plays it. Um, I like plays her, it every a lot day. Of really bad indie pop, um, so that's a guilty pleasure. Um, maybe a little bit of that uh, that new trap metal stuff. Uh, fuck with Ghost Main, real heavy. Um, yeah. So cool. um, mostly metal. I know Steve's got a real eclectic taste. Darren yeah. listens to a lot of not metal. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a huge record collection, so I've got all yeah. sorts of like jazz and old school funk. Like I've got. Tons of hip hop. I've got a lot of old school R and B and soul records. Tons Send me a of, fucking record. 
Are you What's talking that? about old school? Are you talking about vinyls or are you just talking about vinyl? Singles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a huge record like vinyl. Yo, players. give me a yes. vinyl, bro. Me too, dude. Me too. Focus up. Love Big. a lot of old school psychedelic rock, classic rock too. But I mean, obviously, I I love <laughs> the heavy music just as much. Can you tell me about the radio show? Uh, yeah, dude, BG, I, I love what you're doing, and I can relate a little bit. I host a radio show here in Buffalo every Sunday night. What's it so called? Like, it's called Edge Underground. Is it like, you play uh, underground music? Yeah, I get three hours to go into a big FM uh, rock station here in Buffalo. He's dude, kind of that's awesome. It, it's like one of the big stations. It's the, I mean, it's, yeah, it's the yeah. only rock, it's the only, He's like, being humble about it. <laughs> it's a big rock station in Buffalo. And, dude, that is uh, cool. Yeah. That, kudos so to you, that's awesome reform like a new music show every sunday so like i totally respect and like you know honor what you're doing man cheers appreciate Aww. that brother i respect what you're doing man underground bands local bands they need a little love so that's where we come in oh yeah oh yeah dude oh, yeah. we appreciate it man more than you guys know we fucking love the show we love what you guys do man it makes it easier when you guys are good and you guys are good so it makes our job easy <laughs> <laughs> who's who's the stoners in the band i know toes is yeah, three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We, all, we can legally say we all partake yeah, now because it's legal in Buffalo or it's legal in New York State. So. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hey, who? Uh... Dude, you can't buy it. Yet. Dude, that's what I mean. Like, you could smoke it anywhere. You can smoke cigarettes, and it's just like, it's so freeing to just like walk down the street and just be smoking a joint. It's it's like. It it's different. Weird, it does feel weird. Not yeah, used it to does it. Does not make sense yet. I I don't think you can do that, quote unquote, in California. And if you can, it's kind of like frowned upon if you're just like walking outside the mall, just sitting there hitting a blunt or something. Like, but <laughs> it's still cool that you kind of can do that now. Yeah. Like back in the day, you're just like making sure no cops are looking when you're in the car, like ducking down with the bull. <laughs> everything in my garage <laughs> who has the best buffalo wings in buffalo new york oh, oh man dude. oh we're gonna argue about this one applebee's Apple downtown buffalo I said, uh, lord Netflix. said applebee's <laughs> <laughs> no definitely <not. laughs> them shits are all closing out by us now man yeah. all the all, yeah I, I, would, uh, I would say bar bill bar bill yeah 911 tavern dope wings. i'm gonna go with dust and that's and you know um, what? I, I mean, it's solid. a solid, spot, solid for being a now nationwide for the most part. They're all over. Yeah. Dust is still very Buffalo. They are. They are top tier. Dude, if you want uh, Anchor hot, Bar, oh, Anchor wait, Bar over no, there. Yeah. There is a Duff's yeah. in South Florida, and I'm originally from from South Florida. Is this the same chain? Same Duff's. And they yeah. have they have badass wings at this place. Yeah. Yeah. Wings. Hell yeah! There's Those are of, real buffalo wings. There's a lot of yeah. transplants from up here that move down south. Yeah. They're you know snowbirds. They'll spend the the summertime up here, migrate down south, and spend the winter uh, months down there. And like, the culture from Buffalo is all up and down the East Coast, man. So mm -hmm. it's it, it's cool that you've had some duffs. And the winters are fucking depressing, and it helps us write depressing music. Yeah, <laughs> we stay warm with the hot sauce. Yeah, just, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. keeps the yeah. yeah. nice and toasty. <laughs> some serious, some serious shit here. When are you having BG come out of retirement and myself join and uh, record on your guys' next single? Yo, let's do it. This is not, yeah, this this is not a serious never question. Never collab with anybody else. It's always oh, yeah. just been core members of the band. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was actually going to be one of my questions too. Man. I was, I wrote down aside from Corn, who is your dream collab? Yeah, Why'd you say besides I, corn? Because I know oh, yeah. to Toes loves corn Toes more than any other band. Yeah, I'm, I'm the corn head for sure. <laughs> I, um, I like him too. I've been I, to a barbecue at Jonathan Davis's house. Fuck you. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> Darren says he is legend, and oh, I think God. that would be top of all our lists. Too. Sky, yeah, Sky, Sky of Hollywood is one of my favorite songs from the. Yeah. Yo, hell yeah. That record whole catalog. Whole catalog all of it. I would love to get like a female vocal on a track if the, if the track like was was cool enough for that. Like a metal yeah, vocalist or like a like Gino a singer. On a track, dude, Deftones. That's definitely a bucket list, man. Ooh. Yeah, anyone from Deftones would be sick. Yeah. Hell yeah. He's not an impossible man to get a hold of. That's a real possibility one day. It took me it took me ten minutes of Google searching to find his manager's phone number and I I or not his phone number his his manager's email. Uh, so I emailed him the other day asking if we can get him on the show and if we and if we do. I'll ask him on the spot 
how someone would go about getting a collab out of him. And then if okay. he's not willing to tell tell me, I'll see if we can get out of him off stream and then I'll let you guys know. Hell yeah. I'm sure it's pretty pricey. You know, it's yeah. right. Oh, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> but, yeah. it's, <laughs> but it's going to be worth it. You want a Chino soft melody on the trip, bro? It's gonna Just take out another bit. Five grand. Yeah. <laughs> take out another Especially if you can figure out a way to like get it like a music video with it too. That'd be crazy. Uh, what's oh, our, yeah, what's everyone's awesome. go-to munchy stoner snack? Those oatmeal cream pies. Mm. Yes! Ooh. Yo, those are I have there. some. I have some right all now. Day. I've got two, at least two boxes on deck all the time. Well that done. That could be clarified. You well go well done, later. sir. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I, go ahead, dude. Oh, I like uh, tubs of chili, uh, Talenti gelato and those, like, mini... Bavarian cream filled chocolate eclairs. I can eat like a whole lot. Yo, box. those are Yo, that sounds fancy. Is fun. that the gelato where you can like see the layers? Yes. Yeah. That stuff is so good. The so confetti good. cookie flavor. Lloyd, you gotta you <laughs> gotta kick out the Rito. stargazer and go with the gelato. I feel like I wanna go get ice cream after this. I'm Yo, I really <laughs> said that on the way here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were talking ice cream. Yeah. Right? You said you I said gotta be careful, bro. I don't go out too much, I'm gonna get fat. <laughs> Crazy with ice cream. Steve, so you, you, said you said Doritos. You said Doritos, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm big into like Doritos, <laughs> super salty chips. You know, anything dill pickle flavored. Dude, I'm on the same page. Dude, I will sit there and crush like a whole bag of Funyuns and just hate my life. <laughs> Have, all right. Your tongue starts burning from it. Today. I'm a fat bowl of cereal too. Give me a fat bowl of cereal. Like, oh, oh, hell yeah. To the point I got a stomachache. And then I'm, I'm Yo, like just like a too. salad bowl and a wooden spoon. Just like <laughs> cereal. I like to eat Big ass shovel. And sh <laughs> Yo, I was, at, I was at Walmart today. And in the chips aisle. This is for Steve mainly. Uh, the, in the chips aisle is Lay's Cool Ranch Doritos. Yeah. Lay's Funyuns. I was yes. like, I'm leaning into this. I'm leaning into this one. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't had the Doritos one yet. I'm, I'm aware of the flavors because I, I follow all that shit. We're chip like people. A, We're chip people. There was a dill pickle <laughs> Dorito that was like a limited thing and we like bought them off of eBay. It was like a West Coast thing and then it was like a store exclusive somewhere and we couldn't find them so we had to buy them on eBay. What so flavor? What, what flavor was it? Uh, dill pickle flavor Doritos. Oh, that sounds terrible. Doritos? Yeah, dude, they were so good. Yeah, but, BG's but, not a fan of the pickle. You guys got to get your money days. back. You got to get your money back on that one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they were good, though. Back to the Lay's. I had the Funyun flavored Lay's. I ate a small bag one night at like 10 p.m. I was I, I, I woke up about 2 a.m. with a stomach ache. It woke me up out of a dead sleep. And uh, it was bad news for about a half hour after that. <laughs> oh, uh, but did yeah, they did I, they I, taste like the Funyuns? Yeah, they tasted great. That's why I ate the whole fucking bag. <laughs> <laughs> Hell but yeah! I paid for it. Basically, without getting into too much detail, I I paid for it for about a half hour. <laughs> feet went numb the whole nine oh, yards. The like, feet went numb. I was sitting there for a minute. Like, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, God. God. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the what's 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 the hardest song to play live? emotionally and physically for you guys like, is there a special song that's like that's like maybe hard vocally to per perform because it's so like the lyrics are yeah i would say life after death too we closed every set with that song just because like at the end of it there's like the long dragged out breakdown and just like playing opens and all this mess and like we did that on the recording but it, it translates so much better live but um, yeah, it's like when you say open, like you kind of just let each member kind of like groove for a minute, and then you just cue like we're going to the we next. Vibe one. off with each other. And yeah, we all kind of. Yeah, so it's different every just, set. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. That's tight. Also, lucid dissolution. When we're that's, really uh, into it, it sounds really fucking good. That's the most on mine. Oh and, yeah. Um, I feel like that's the most challenging to get to sound yeah. good. But if we're vibing, it's awesome. Yeah, that one's got like the fucking carpal tunnel riff for me. I don't know why I felt like I needed to stretch my finger and my pinky that long. But He's flexing away. Yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I play it differently on bass. Yeah, you do. I should play it the way Jared plays it, but yeah, I make I just like to make things more difficult. His way it has a little bit of that dissonance because sometimes you get those two new notes ringing out, so I don't blame him. Yeah, man. Technology I see, I see, really takes a lot out of me. There's a lot of double bass. Like, yeah, oh, that's yeah. an intense song. Steady double bass. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's 
that's probably the most physically demanding for me. And that's usually where my, where I start sweating. And then I'm like, all right, the show is, the show is happening now. I have oh, to yeah. really pay attention. It's official. To stay on on that it's one. official. I'm sweating. Most is probably 19, 20, 20 for me. Yeah. Yeah. Vocally, oh, yeah. Vocally, song. for yeah. sure. Like, the newest yeah. song for him, he's saying so much so quick. Yeah, I, no I noticed that when I was doing the review, like, when I was actually, that, which was my second time here, and I jammed it at, at midnight, and then I heard it when I did the review, and I noticed that during the hook, like, you go out of a part, but then really quick go into, like, a next line in the hook right there. And I imagine yeah. that'd be, like, tough to be like, ah, yeah, ah, like. <laughs> yeah, dude, so much breath. It gets pretty well. <laughs> yeah, that breath control, I, that took a long time. Because remember, I'm 34. I've been doing this since I was, like, 14. Yeah, he's in the, <laughs> what, you, like, all-state chorus? Yeah. All, gang. Like, yeah, I guess. All-state <laughs> all all chorus? All nice. State. Miss Sue Faye Allen, she, uh, <laughs> she, she can keep her peace out of my <laughs> Jared, how tall are you, bro? Uh, just shy of six three. I'm not gonna ask if he played we're, football we're basketball. Right, You're really he's a little too skinny for uh, basketball, so you didn't really get into that, did you? No, I was um I was a stay at home play guitar and cry kid. Facts. <laughs> emo kid at heart. I, I used to be an emo oh, kid. I'm just stalking sure. everybody's Instagram. I'm still an emo kid. <laughs> Darren really liked a lot of the emo too, but um I'm yeah. still in my pop punk phase. I never grew out of my new metal right, phase. So then it's not a phase; it's a life. I still it listen is, to my right? emo and scene throwbacks. I'm um. Uh, oh yeah. I'm a little scene kid. Me too. I used to be a, an eyeshadow eyeliner everyday guy, whether we were playing or not. Just I just oh, got I just got used to it, like wearing it all the time. And then I. I Darren, why is your Instagram the only one that's day. private, bro? What do you What are you hiding over there? <laughs> you said Darren's Darren. got a private Instagram. Yeah, what's your show? Ooh. <laughs> What's in there, bro? What's what, what goodies you got? No, I got I got parents on Instagram. They don't need to see that shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's see, let's see. What's one What's album? The better cook I asked... out of everybody. Oh, sorry. There you go. You go. Shit. Who's the be better cook out of everybody? That depends how we're cooking. It's either That's Steve cook. or Jared. They fucking can. Dude, they can run a mean grill. <laughs> uh, I'll give it to Steve. Yeah, I'd probably say Steve too. Darren, Damn, no. Darren just got blue. Darren's away. offended. No, I'm sorry, sorry Darren. Darren. I'm sorry. Can you guys do a stream where uh, they have a cook-off and you guys play at the same time? That would be a good one, a good way to settle that. I love weird yeah. shit like that. <laughs> We'll collab at the grill. It'll it had to be a super a super is. wide shot, and everyone has a grill, and they throw down steaks and then start playing a song. And Steve actually <laughs> Steve actually makes his own homemade hot sauce. Oh, send that to BG right now. What? Yeah. The fact you what? haven't done it already. How is this I the don't first? Know, dude. I Darren, uh... Darren does too, but he hasn't made a batch in a while. Yeah, he does barbecue. That's sauce. a barbecue sauce. Let me though. let me yeah, plug one. it. I'll take the barbecue. Get let BG me plug it every single yeah. stream for eternity from now on. If you send it to me, like I will literally do drink it on stream every Yo, time. I grow, I grow my own peppers. I got my own peppers over here. <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious. Oh, so yeah. I harvested <laughs> some ghosties today and some some ghosts. Iron. Yeah, man. Nice. Yeah, he doesn't fuck around. I got. <laughs> I had a harvest today, man. I was stoked. I took a toothpick and wanted to cut my tongue off. So like. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you dipped. You dipped it. You dipped it in the hot sauce. A toothpick worth. Yeah, and I wanted to cut my tongue off. So. So we're talking like 1.5 milli scovels. I've legit made four bottles of hot sauce. That's it. Like it's. It's a fresh process. What is this red light? Does somebody go to like a reptile or do you guys really just have a red light for- It looks purple Yeah, to we me. just have a red light there just to go with the vibe from the video and the release. Who's we house like are we in? The doorway to hell. Whose residence are we in right now? <laughs> oh, this is my house for, um, in my basement where we practice. Oh, sick. What a dope basement. All right, so what's yeah. next for the band? What's like the next goals? You guys just dropped, you know, your new song, your video, your cooking. What's coming next? I know they're playing in Ohio. Ohio. You guys are playing in Ohio yeah. soon. Yeah, the, the, the most recent thing is on Thursday. Yeah, we're going to Canton, Ohio with our good friends in Shallow Teeth. Uh, we're playing with a band called False Deity out there. They're kind of like... They describe slam. themselves as like zombie deathcore slam. Cool. So, yes, it's a cool. different it's a different realm of heavy than us, but I think it's gonna be a really cool show. 
Their guitars are going to sound like chainsaws. Anyway. Yeah, I hope so. Zombie <laughs> Deathcore Slam. How far is Canton from from Cleveland? Uh, oh, it's like about an hour. An hour. Yep. I, if you have time, like if there's a way you guys can get up a little bit earlier on that drive, I suggest going to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and wasting like two or three hours. Yeah, oh, I'm playing. I'm actually planning on doing that because I'm. Yeah, we're doing I'm staying in Cleveland <laughs> overnight. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! Well played. Excellent. Yeah, uh, friend of mine. Mikey, actually, uh, how far was uh, Albany from where you guys are at? Five. It's hours. about five hours. Yeah. I'm gonna We're have to get you guys booked out here. That, that's not an impossible drive. <laughs> <guy, so. laughs> uh, oh, yeah. You guys can only bring one album to an island. I ask everybody this, one, this question. No, not this that. Is, well, I know my answer. I, I know mine. I think I know mine too, actually. Hit him. Yeah, I know. I know yeah. mine. It's it's just easy. Steve, yeah. you want to start? I'm gonna yeah, probably start Daptone's White Pony. Oh, good, really good one. It's great you album. Feel bad. It's a really good song. I still can. I can't get sick of that. Like every. I mean, yeah. That's it's a. It's pretty. He pulls perfect. it off. Gino could do it live too, which is really sick. That's a hard note to hit a digital bath for. Oh, it yeah. always has been. Yeah, man. He does it better now for sure. Jared, what do you think? Uh, AFI sing the sorrow for sure. Silver and cold um, was the first song I learned on piano. Hell yeah! So beautiful. Oh, dude. Um, Davy should be my father. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think my mom yeah. has a secret or something. What do you What do you um, think about the new AFI stuff? It's very different. I love it. uh, it's oh, It's like Morrissey kind of style to me. A lot of the 80s goth and post-punk in it, I think with their last album, they kind of tied in elements from all their previous albums and kind of like wrapped off the end of an era so they could be like free to grow with this album and be more expansive with their sound. Um, that single Dulceria, yeah. most beautiful AFI song I've ever heard. And like, I'm a huge fan of all their records and I think all their work is amazing. Hell yeah. Mr. Toes. <laughs> Corn, self-titled, the first one. I can listen to it front to back any that's, day of the week. That's the I one that has that. Adidas, or is that the second one? What oh, was that's this? the second one. This is the one with Blind and... Yeah, yeah. What was the song um, that he, like, starts crying at the end of for, like, 15 minutes? That shit yeah. fucks me up. Yeah, Daddy. Yeah, Daddy. yeah, that's, yeah that's, a, that's, yeah, that's a tough one to listen to, man. I don't know if I would ever let a producer ever cut something of that of me if I ever had an episode like that, but that's some heavy... Like, it's hard to listen to without, like, getting teary died. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I think, like, that's what, when I was younger, that's what had the impression on me the most. It just, <laughs> it felt so raw and honest. That, that, yeah. I really connected with that. You don't get too me. much of that. that for me too. No. That record made me, like, scared. I was like, I, when I heard that whole thing. Life's like, real, man. I was like, what? <laughs> What is this? Like, yeah, like, I, didn't, I didn't like it at first. Like I heard that shit in like seventh grade. When I uh, when I first heard that album, that I was jamming Kids, man. Cold yeah, Chamber. Dude. I was jamming Cold, Cold Chamber. Chamber when, when oh, I yes. was jamming that album. And Show your age more. I don't even remember the name of the Cold Chamber album. And I was playing Resident age. Evil One on PlayStation. Yeah. Do Twisted Metal on PS1. Yes, yes. <laughs> they should make a new one. Uh, Dude, Dar they should. It would be so much better nowadays. That was such a sick game. For real. Darren, I, I don't think we heard yours. Darren, yeah, what's your album? Oh, I was going to say uh, probably 30 Seconds to Mars. Uh, Ooh. Most likely. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I, I wasn't, that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that one. Yeah. Is Jared Leto a better singer or a better actor? Um, oof. How many swear words can I say? As many uh, oh. as on my show. All right. So I ran a Twitter account for a second that was pinned, and it was called, uh, this Twitter account is dedicated to Jared Leto's fat cock. This is the corniest um, thing I've ever heard of, and I love it. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I, I tried really, really, really hard to get Jared Leto to, A, notice this Twitter account. Notice me. Just Wait a just second. Because, the, the just because I really, um, <laughs> I think so, a better singer actor. I, well, I, don't, I don't know. It was um, at Jared Leto's fat cock. Yeah, for that's that's for you. Was yes. It was Is my, it still uh, around? Can I look it up right now? No, no. Damn it. Thank God, I I changed that about ten years ago. Cheater. Uh, but yeah, no. <laughs> that is hilarious, though. So thirty seconds to Mars. Yeah, is obviously the answer. Cool. Uh, I got another question. Uh, can you guys tell the story of the cross and the crime and why it turned into having three parts? Okay. Hmm. 
ties into the very early history of this lineup. That was like the first thing we did all together, all four of us. True. Um, That's there's, there's the, the first song, the first one behind it. Um, sort of a trilogy thing. I think Mike, you could definitely explain this better. Yeah, it's um, the first one was written um as Drac left the band. So the first versions of it that you hear with like the smoked out and like the upside down cross, not like we re-recorded them when uh, Jared and Darren got in the band. So the first two were just actually me and Steve. I, I did guitar, bass and vocals and Steve did the drums, obviously. And um, the for me, the first song, it was just like really um, just being like sick of religion and going with that theme. But it was more or less like taking a shot at track for fucking <laughs> leaving the band yeah. again. <laughs> and there's like some metaphors about what? religion and like it's kind of pairing the two ideas together and using the same lyrics to kind of represent both ideas i'm kind of getting the vibe yeah and like at that point i didn't really know what was going to happen with the band or like how quick we were going to find anybody so i figured if we were releasing singles that were like all tying together and telling a story then we could eventually re-release it as the EP. And that's what eventually became the Chapters EP, those three songs. Cool. Kind of got a little weird on part three, and that was the first song we all wrote together and, like, yeah. all had creative input in. And, like, I think um, the first two parts, like, kind of represent the beginning of our lineup and our journey together. But then, like, the the third part three is kind of flourishing out into some different stuff and mm -hmm. the next song we recorded after that was lucid right yeah and so we uh, were definitely trying to get weird um because we all can play like heavy mean stuff and that's like our wheelhouse and we all love that and we can naturally do like spit that out and i think that's obviously a core backbone of our band but we want to we want to get weird we want to get pretty we want to get emotional too but we want it uh, to kind of be like a cohesive identity as well so we don't want to sound pretty like another band we want to sound pretty like surrender the hope yeah apocalypse was the first song um that we a actually had like any form of singing in throughout the entire history of the band yeah that's that's one of my favorite songs from you guys too is apocalypse i love playing that one yeah we were we I really weren't sure like play. how um how people were going to perceive like, oh, they're like fucking singing now. Uh, they're like, they're not as heavy and crazy as they used to be, like blah, blah, blah. And then we're like, all right, well, we, we got a taste of the singing in the mix. Let's just like put way more singing on Lucid. And when we were starting to write that shit, like Darren at practice was like doing these like vocal melodies over that, that first riff. And like, we were we like really, yo, you have to keep. Yeah, that. we we like fell in love with it. Like, like, yo, fuck it. Like, let's let's incorporate more singing, more and more to the music. So it's not so like off putting when we keep doing it. It's not going to be like, oh, such a shock. They're fucking singing. You know? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it sounds great. So yeah, yeah. Like, keep doing we, it. We all love bands that have singing in them, and we've all we all love bands that at one point probably didn't have singing in them. Yeah, and for the most part, like it's up to you if you want to grow with a band that progresses like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, I definitely feel like singing or more melodic material is only a natural progression for us. But we're not abandoning the heavy stuff by any means. No, that's evident by 1920. That's it. That shit's in the soul. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Lloyd, you got any? I got uh, a really important question. Yeah. What's your favorite Rick and Morty episode? Vat of Acid. <laughs> Good. Oh, he was quick with that. He I met, like he knew that. right away. I can answer that right away. I just saw it, and it's been blowing my mind. That that's a really good episode. You said you just saw it. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't ever really watched much of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, toxic. Me either. 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 <laughs> Sorry. It's like my Star Wars. I've never. I've never seen See, it. I kind of fell off with it, and then got back into it. Wait a second. Wait a second. No Star Wars. And then I came back to it. No. Yeah, no Star Wars over there. I'm all about Star Trek. I only like Jared right now. I'm just letting you all know. <laughs> that's that's fair enough, man. We're uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm like off with the pop culture as far as TV shows. I watch like King of Queens and like Everybody Loves Raymond. I'm okay. Boring. First of all, you say you're out of pop culture. Seinfeld. But you probably have Seinfeld. More TikToks than all of us put together. <laughs> yeah, Yo, that's, 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 that's fucking Darren's, that's Darren's fault. fault. That's Darren's oh, fault, man. It's not, but it's your TikTok. You have more than all of us put together. So don't tell me you're not in pop culture. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm saying as far as like TV, watching TV. <laughs> Yo, BG, you asked Mikey one day if he knew who Black Bear was, and I was like, uh, how do you not know who Black Bear is? Dude, Black I, Bear is huge. I know, and you're the one I, who has a TikTok. You gotta I, listen to him, and I think you'd like him. I probably have came across it. Dude, I'm a, I'm just always like stoned and just flicking on the phone, man. I'm stoned and flicking. No, stoned I, I think what he is, is like he likes what he likes, and he focuses on that. Yeah, I do. Start I with... actually like a lot of hip hop too. Like, I really like the, um, I love like the Odd Future shit and Earl Sweatshirt and Wiz Khalifa. Like, they're like extremely well produced, like hip hop, dude. I'll just sit there and vibe out to that. I just listened to like what Cypress Hill, like the album from like '91 the other day. Oh, you wanna be a like, <laughs> just love man? Yeah, <laughs> mayonnaise boy. <laughs> I love mayonnaise. Kush, yeah. Kush and Orange Juice, my favorite spicy. Wiz album. Uh, uh, so I'll say mayonnaise on my chicken patties. Mm. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Yo, I, I, sent him, I sent him some mayonnaise boy stuff. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, my God. Mayonnaise oh, boy. It's so bad. If you jam Black Bear, start with IDFC first. That That's the first song that, like, really hooked me. That And I always thought that was a banger. Um, okay. I, I only got, uh, like, one or two more, Lloyd, if you have one or two more. Uh. What's the what's the best? Can you name all the weed strains you're growing, Toes? And can everyone <laughs> say if they're indica or sativa? Like, what, what's their preference? Um, I don't really have a preference. Um, I I honestly um I have like four or five going, and uh I don't I don't even know the flavors right now. I know there's a gelato and maybe um like a Girl Scout cookie, something like that. So um, uh, I really enjoy the blue, the blue, any blue dream, blue haze, the fruity shit. Cool. With, you oh, just yeah. had um, chocolate too. Yeah, chocolate oh, great. Yeah, that was, that was pretty tasty. Nice. When I was when I was growing up, uh, NYC sour diesel was Ooh, like. I remember yes. that sour stuff. Diesel. Yeah. That, that was diesel. when I was I I grew up in Florida. I grew up in Florida and like. I remember one time someone was like, there's an NYC sour diesel is down here for like, I don't know, it, $35 a gram. This is in like the 90s. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Yo, I was like, out. let me get that, dude. Let me get it. Yo, that, <laughs> was that was like straight back then. gasoline. That was, that was like lemon stuff. gas. Like yeah. lemon pledge. Remember that dude that went to UB, sold polo shirts on eBay, played freaking online poker and sold weed? No. Oh, Eric, yeah, Eric. Yeah. was the same Eric. Yeah, living, that's a shitty hair. Living the dream. New York City. That's living where he got to buy it there and come back to relive. Yeah, it was oh. either that or like the rock hard beasters that just oh, like the tastes like dried potatoes. BC, BC buds. Beasters. BC buds. I think they called it BC too, like BC buds. BC, oh, yeah, it's BC like, buds. That's what it was. You can like barely grind it with a metal grinder. It's so it's fucking good. Like, yeah. It's... <laughs> I would take Beasters over mid any day, though. Back All right, back. I got my last question. I figured it out. <clears throat> What's your guys' favorite colored Skittle? <laughs> Lloyd, with the, always with the, the crazy randoms, the crazy random questions. They don't all taste the same? No. Definitely the lime green. What? Do you remember That's... Skittle's dark side? Strawberry. Yeah. Skittles Dark Side was in the dark blue package, and yep. like the pomegranate ones were good, and then there was like a dark berry that was awesome, but they don't make those anymore. Whoa. The spicy Skittles were awesome too. They ha oh, I love that. They had a lot of good variations. Yeah, I gotta ask the yeah. I have to ask some fun questions. We gotta get people to know these guys. What if like some girl was interested in one of them and they're like, "Damn, I want to buy them Skittles. Which one?" Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Dude, the know. purple pack, the purple pack, the tropical ones, the like the blue ra the blue raspberry ones in those packs. Sour Skittles good too. Dude, sour, sour Skittles, Skittles good too, it's it's oh. good, but like you get like halfway through the bag and then you're like the roof of your mouth is just like dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a Starburst dude. I love Starburst too. <laughs> Dude, get, I'll eat them until I have fucking sores in my mouth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> what about what about guy. Warheads? Nah. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't yeah, do them yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's been since like grade school. I was just talking about all that shit, like crybabies and Warheads. <laughs> <laughs> Watermelon like Warheads. Cans. Those are like oh, tor torture candies. Tin <laughs> candy. Dang, I gotta, I gotta find With these dark dairy? side Skittles. I've, I've asked all my questions. I'm ordering Dairy Queen right now. So I thought you were pulling, yeah. 
Yes. Yo, burn like Stargazer ice cream, bro. Hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. Yo, and uh, aside from this, I know it's an interview about you guys, but shout out to Mikey Toxic, who not only, like, helps uh, mod our show and tag everyone, but he promotes your guys' band as much as my band, as much as the show. Like, he's working. Shout out to you, bro. Hell yeah, man. Got to spread the love, man. He's been, um, we're all in it together, man. Oh yeah, well, he's been, uh, we he's been we uh hard. we very much appreciate all you guys doing this, uh, taking some time out of your day to hang out with us. Um, the new song is awesome, nineteen twenty twenty. Go stream it on Spotify. Check out the video on YouTube. At I was very impressed with that too. You guys made me nervous a little bit with that one. I need to come up stronger for my next release. <laughs> Hell yeah, keep him on his toes. Sorry, BG, I didn't mean to cut off your flow. I know that was your hook there. Keep him on, keep him on his toes. Uh, at Surrender the Hope on Facebook, Darren, Steve, Mikey Toes, and Jared, you guys are scholars. We appreciate it, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Have a blast and a safe trip to Ohio. And uh, oh, yeah. sure. Thank you shoot guys. me, so shoot me some pictures, please, of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I've never sauce. been, and I, I really want to go. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, so dude, good. we'll make the sauces happen for sure. Oh, I yeah. need the barbecue yes! sauce and him the hot sauce. Yes, yes. 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 This, this right here is the motivation we need to do. Yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. The, the fire yeah, we'll drink it on show, bro. We'll plug it for free. Hello. Hell yeah. I won't even have any for sale. <laughs> I'll have make, I make one bottle at a time for real. I try that shit. It's gonna be hot. I get, no, when it's like that, it's gonna be hot. Silver Thunder Sauce on Facebook. Silver yeah, Thunder Sauce. Yeah, he's Thunder got a legit six. page for it and shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Check it out. Barbecue Man. chicken. Hell yeah. I can set up. <laughs> well, boys, you have an excellent rest of your evening, and uh, like I said, safe travels, and, and we'll see you shortly. We'll see you soon. Oh yeah, love you guys. Love you guys. Cheers. Bye, Bye. See ya. Peace.